Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're out here trying to finish up our pasture fencing. We got this gate to hang and, well, we just hung it, I guess, but uh, we are gonna put on a two-way gate latch. I've tried to put those on anytime I can. The only trick is you have to have the right post spacing uh, to be able to fit, fit the latch in between the post and the gate. And um, I do like these latches, you know, so you can open them from either direction. They're lockable if you want to lock your gates. And um, I think we're gonna have a pretty tight fit on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the two-way gate latch out. Uh, there's one piece that attaches to the gate itself, and then there's a, t a piece that attaches to the post. We'll start putting this together and see whether it's gonna fit or not. If it doesn't fit, I may actually have to remove a little bit of the wood on the post uh, to, to inset that latch into the post just to get the right post spacing. It's gonna be pretty close. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this put together. So this piece here fits on the gate. The top is the pin that fits in the latch and then the bottom is where you can actually put a padlock through and lock it. So it comes with a couple bolts to bolt it to your gate. You really have to bolt it across one of these cross arms to keep it from twisting. Well, the pin here on the gate is hitting the post. So uh, my post spacing should have been just a little bit wider, about an inch wider would have worked better. So I'm gonna have to get a hammer and chisel. We're just gonna take off, I don't know, maybe a half inch of this wood right here um, so we can mount our gate latch and then it should be able to work. So this is the two-way gate latch. I'm gonna slide it over the pin here. I'm going to swing it over and then I'm just going to kind of mark where at I need to cut away the wood for this to mount. A little tight on that side. Take off a little more. Need to make a new notch for my wire. Works good. I like these latches. I want. I like to put them on if I can. Um, they're pretty easy. You can operate them. You, you, you can operate them with one hand, and um, they latch themselves. So you can just swing it shut, and they latch. And uh, yeah, I just prefer to put these on if I can. I, I obviously didn't get my post spacing exactly right. Um, so I probably should add my post at least another inch in that direction. But. Uh, few minutes with the chisel and it fit on there just fine. So uh, we got one more thing we need to do to button this pasture up tonight is I need to put a stock panel and some T-posts in and uh, just we've got an opening down there where there is a uh, where there's a culvert we put in so we're going to put that stock panel across that culvert in case we ever need to work on it in the future we can just remove that stock panel. So we're going to go ahead and go put that in now and then hopefully we can still got enough light here this evening we can let the animals out.
So this is a gripple specifically for barbed wire. And we'll just use that to tighten this up. If we ever need to get in here, we'll just cut it away and put it back together later and reuse the gripple. I think it'll work fine. Such a short run of fence. Plus we'll still have barbed wire at the bottom to keep animals from digging under. So we just got done putting the stock panel on over where this culvert is and for some reason you can flex the stock panel actually still fairly well and I think you can flex it enough that an animal could squeeze through uh, between that barbed wire and the bottom. So uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put in a couple more extra T-posts and uh, try to keep this from moving so much. All right, I think the pasture is all secure now. Um, this opening right here is gonna be a gate. I don't have it right now. Actually, I do have it. It's gonna be the gate that is on the barnyard is gonna move out to here and I'm gonna put a bigger gate on the barnyard so that I can back in vehicles and trailers and things a lot easier in the barnyard. So we're gonna do a little gate swap in here later and we'll eventually get one put here. So uh, yeah, I think we're ready to let the animals out. So I think we'll go ahead go up there we'll open the gate that's actually facing this bigger pasture and see if we can get the animals to head out to this new area so it is it is going to be kind of maybe like strange to them unfamiliar territory so they may be a little bit shy in coming out here so we'll just have to wait and see Grass is pretty tall. Come on, Gracie. Lay's eating some food that you haven't got to try yet.
So we let the goats and the chickens out here and they probably didn't make it like 40, 50 feet from the barnyard. So they're not real comfortable coming out to this side yet. So I'm sure over time they'll venture farther and farther as they get more comfortable. So uh, there's definitely plenty of tall grass and stuff out here for the goats to eat and for the chickens to scratch through. And now we can finally try to go look for some feeder calves. We wanna try to get a couple feeder calves that we can raise out here and feed out out here. And um, there'll be some stuff that we need to do for that. We're not quite ready for cows either. So we're gonna to have to end up uh, coming up with some more watering trough uh, troughs for the cows and, and have to come up with some hay feeders for the cows as well. So there's a couple other projects I'm sure we'll have to do uh, if we wanna to try to raise our own beef. So anyway, I think that's it for today's video. I'm glad to finally have this all buttoned up and ready to use. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.